filmmakers, it's fascinating at the AFI class too, because they're really, really, really intelligent kids. I say kids, they're my age. It's weird. Um, <laughs> because they're grad students and they, they have these great ideas and they're telling them to me and they want to kind of put them the words to paper and they say, we want to write a script and we're going to say, you're going to see this and you're going to see this and you're going to see this and you're going to do this. And a lot of times I have to kind of stop and go, this is all amazing. And I love where you're taking this as a filmmaker. You even put a montage in here. Like, you know how to tell what you want to tell, but you're going to be working in a medium that allows you so much more that you kind of have to pull the veil away and say, look at all the things you can do. The problem is, and when I've given the, the, you know, the, the skies, there's no limit anymore. Mandalorian is brilliant in how it does this. The problem that we're seeing a lot more in the professional world is that these wonderfully creative creative directors and and producers suddenly go to us collectively and go oh i saw the mandalorian and i loved it and and it looks so easy and it it, it's cheaper and it's great and we can do the mandalorian and we can be any planet anywhere on an led screen and run in real time if i want that rock move to the left i can move it to the left and go yes but 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 that's that's the easiest part of it right filmmakers need to know that there are so many technical not challenges, but just considerations. Like you have so much creative freedom, yeah. but you just got to know how you want to use it and why you want to use it, which is kind of coming back to your main question of when, when's yeah. the right time? 